Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Beats channel in Malaysia. I'm going to start out by saying a big thank you to Roy Juarez, the lead packaging designer for Mattel and Masters of the Universe, who has put up these images of the upcoming Snake Man wave on his Instagram page. Thank you so much, Roy, for putting these pictures out there for the fans. 2023 is obviously going to be the year of the Snake Man for Masters of the Universe, and we've been seeing so much of the product, from SDCC all the way to the cardback images that we're seeing right now. And I have to wonder, are we in fact going to be getting these figures much earlier in stores? Like what happened with last year's Wave 7, you know, the Buzz Off Wave. Now that one was carded as a 2022 release, but it ended up coming out as early as October of 2021. Now, based on what was shared, we're getting carded images of Rathlaw, Cobra Khan, Jungle Armor, He-Man, and Boltman. So overall, we're getting two heroes and two villains in this particular wave. Now, we're also getting images of the back of the cards with the artwork and figure instructions. Now, during the Mattel panel video footage from SDCC 2022, I remember I was like watching it from the TV and, you know, we saw brief glimpses of the back of the cards too, but they were never really clear photos like these. I mean, during the presentation, there's always like heads and people and hands blocking the view or maybe the angle of the video was to the wrong side and, you know, couldn't really make out what was actually on the cards. All right. So these clear images are very much appreciated. The bio for Ratlaw reads, Ratlaw serves as one of King Hiss's most loyal henchmen and general in the Snake Man army. So yeah, you know, he ain't just Ratlaw, he's General Ratlaw. Now based on the pictures provided here in the instructions, Ratlaw no longer comes with the classic striking head feature that the vintage figure did. This time around, you need to swap his standard head with another longer head. It says you're replaced with long strike head. Now I talked about this as well in the previous video where we covered the Snake Man and I do find it a bit weird that they don't have the classic action feature worked into the toy. Instead, you know, we have an alternate head that has what appears to be the classic feature of the striking head. So I find it a bit weird. Was it a cost decision? I'm not really sure. Was it cheaper to not have the feature worked into the toy or were they just not trying to have the toy have an action feature? So, you know, that's just something I'm just wondering about here. Also on the second column here, it says here that uh, this thing makes a fearsome rattle just gotta shake the action figure and it makes a fearsome battle rattle now in the photo here where we see the hand shaking the action figure in order to create the rattle sound uh, the rattle figure has the longer strike head attached so it seems like the rattle sound only comes on when you have the longer head attached like it's in attack mode and i guess it doesn't come on when rattle is in its standard mode what do you guys think there isn't any mention of any accessories that the figure comes with, but in the cross-sell photo here, you do see a picture of him holding onto the Serpent Staff accessory, which is the same accessory that the vintage figure also had. So you're getting a pretty identical representation of the classic Ratlaw figure, just minus the action feature. The cutback artwork depicts Ratlaw going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the snake armor He-Man in what appears to be a lush tropical setting. I'm trying to look around here to see if there's any Easter eggs in the background. I don't seem to spot any but snake mountains in the background though. So, you know, somewhere in the vicinity, just across from Snake Mountain is this very nice tropical setting. I thought it was just like a barren wasteland, okay, for like miles. But apparently, you have this very colorful tropical setting where the snake men are at play. Then we have Boltman, one of the heroes of the wave who's built as a molecular regenerator. Now, Boltman's packaging is a little bit different. Even though he's part of the Snake Man wave, he doesn't get the Snake Man sticker on the package, if you notice. He gets the Rulers of the Sun, Sun Man sticker. I mean, it's going to get a bit crowded in there because he's technically a Rulers of the Sun character that's crossing over to Masters of the Universe and he's also appearing and making his debut in the Snake Man wave. So there's a lot going on with this figure, actually. That being said, this is probably a character that a lot of fans out there may want to pass on, but they don't really have a choice, okay? I would like to pass on this character too because, you know, I mean, I know that he's got legit 80s roots, but I don't have any identification with the character. I've never been exposed to any media that he was in. So, you know, I mean, I may not necessarily need to own an action figure of him, but then, you know, it seems that we may have to pick it up anyway because he's going to come with the set. So it says here on the bio that Boltman is both a healer and a warrior. Yeah, Boltman controls molecules to protect those in need. 
Now, Boltman comes with what appears to be two blue lightning bolt-like attachments. It says here they can push the bolts into his hands. Uh, the bolts apparently can also be parked on his back. If you look at this first image here, there's like one lightning bolt parked on his back somewhere on his armor. I guess it fits in there. Uh, and you can also just have him holding them. All right. And then you twist him into powerful battle positions. That's pretty much all you can do with him. The cutback artwork has Boltman in battle with Cobra Khan. Or is it Camo Khan? Because he appears to have the full Cobra head on. So I guess it's Camo Khan then. Yeah, so Boltman's in battle with this variant. A cool variant that's an upcoming, highly anticipated release through Metal Creations. <laughs> I wonder how that's going to turn out. Okay, but they appear to be fighting in a very, very, once again, a very, very colorful uh, tropical setting. Okay, where is this? Okay, it's like teeming with colors uh you know there's a furious battle going on here but the backdrop is just visually amazing uh it's like you know come on and fight but stay and enjoy the view next up we're checking out the card back for the snake armor he-man it says here prince adam used the power of gray skull to upgrade his armor and combat the snake man instructions ask you to push the snake pincer into the figure's arm gauntlet and then you're ready to twist him into powerful battle positions okay uh he does come with the power sword this is the same it looks to be the same power sword that came with the wave 9 2002 inspired he-man figure uh, i'm not really sure if there's probably some mild redecoing done to this power sword but most likely it's just the same deal now when it comes to this particular design of the snake armor he-man i gotta be honest i can't really say that i'm actually a fan of the design i think it looks fairly ridiculous it looked okay when it was on the original seven inch scale he-man body from the 2002 wave it looked all right but when it comes to this particular interpretation where it's on a smaller origin scale body i just think that i'm not really sure i probably need to get it in hand definitely but just from what i'm seeing here right now i just feel that it just doesn't look that inspiring to me at all what does get me excited though is the sight of the snake armor he-man in furious battle with these two snake man villains squeeze and snake face i mean these two guys are awesome awesome because i've never actually seen the vintage figures in person okay i've never actually seen them i never held them i've never had them right to begin with so the possibility of now seeing these two guys emerge in origins man that is freaking exciting guys okay then we get down to checking out the card back for cobra khan and it says here on the bio as deceitful as he's dangerous cobra khan uses hypnotic venom to serve his own ambitions now the instructions for the figure say push venom blast into mouth but you are wrong my friend it is not a venom blast it is a venom blast effect okay it is a sculpted piece now the original cobra khan of course was one of the famous masters of the universe water squirters you know you could like squirt water out of his mouth kind of like make it seem like he was spraying venom onto his enemies but you can't do that anymore with this figure because obviously it seems like the mandate must have been make damn sure that none of these figures come with any of the original action features i don't know why though okay some of the masters of the universe figures do come with sculpted blast effects like even the recent deluxe hordak the one from masterverse that guy came with a blast effect as well i suppose i kind of like just ignored that because the figure came with so much other cool stuff so i didn't really mind the blast effect that much but with a figure like cobra khan you kind of expect him to be able to do one particular thing and he can't and then it just give you like some kind of a replication of that okay like you know like as though he's spraying the venom out of his mouth but he's really not okay we want him to squirt water but he can't now the card back artwork features he-man in battle with cobra khan but the weird thing is just that for some reason you know he-man's decided to just get rid of that ridiculous looking snake armor and go with the thunder punch armor instead that's right okay the situation calls for the thunder punch armor to take down cobra khan well you know what the thunder punch armor look was actually also teased 
at SDCC uh, during the Eternia crowd shot you know, with all those action figures there. The Thunder Punch He-Man was actually there. Uh, it wasn't actually elaborated on. We don't know what it comes with, if it's able to do the pop-pop you know, feature, the Thunder Cracking feature of the classic vintage one. But uh, you know, we're just going to have to wait for details on that one. Really looking forward to it. And suddenly, for some reason, uh, he's teased here in this card back artwork, even though he's not part of this wave at all. And uh, also in the background, okay, there is a cameo there from Extender. It's great to see more Masters of the Universe characters helping out because so far, it just seems like it's been He-Man and that one time with Boltman, you know, but now we see Extenda there coming to assist. Is he really there to assist though or is he like kind of like flinching? Is he like flinching in the background? It's like, keep that snake away from me. But Extenda is one of those figures that we're really waiting for in Origins. And that's what we want to hear, that Extenda is coming back. But the real question is, will Extenda come with his classic action features that allow him to extend or will he just come with extra parts for you to attach to the figure to make it seem like he's extending? Extend. 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 Okay, guys, so that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of the images that we've seen here of the incoming Snake Man wave. Can't wait for this personally. But at the same time, I'm also wondering just where in the hell is that lost wave 10 figure batch okay that wave 10 batch of figures that's supposed to have whiplash and a whole gang where are they all right in the meantime let me know what you guys thought of this video i'll catch you guys again real soon with more content take care out there